this is going to be one of the most important videos on my YouTube channel because for the first time ever, I'm gonna share the entire journey of Tim Danilo from zero grand a month and being a college dropout, a loser, to making 90 grand a month as a young kid at 20 years old and then losing it all and building it from scratch in the US without knowing English. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the entire story and this is the first time I'm ever doing it. So if you're running an agency or a coaching business, in this video, I'm, give you, I'm gonna give you a lot of lessons that I learned the hard way. I was banned, I lost my business, I was forced to leave my home country, and yet I built it all from scratch again and again and again. And there is a couple of lessons that uh, you will walk away from this video, um, but make sure that you have 20 minutes because it's going to be a solid breakdown of exactly what happened to me in the past. So here's my journey. And uh, we're going to talk about how I bought the Mercedes uh, from my fresh Instagram account, uh, why I live in this like old money villa and all of that. But here's an outline. I started as a college dropout when I was 18. I started my first agency. I quickly scaled it to 15k a month and then through the scaling season that I'm gonna to talk today about, I went from 15K months to 90 grand a month in three months using a couple of things that I will also share with you. And then I lost it all and I was back at zero. And then without knowing English, I decided to conquer the US market and scaled my first agency, first US agency from zero to 10K a month in about six months. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I did that. Um, then I lost my Twitter account. That, that was my primary source of income. A um, couple of losses along the way, but uh, anyways. And then I pivoted to coaching. So we're going to talk about all of these stages one by one because in each and one of those stages, there's a lesson that you can take home with you to avoid making my mistakes or to just take inspiration from me because I was knocked down so many times and I just... You know, I did it anyways. Now, let's talk about my first agency. This is the stage one. This is where I teamed up with one of my friends and this is why networking is so important. I decided to team up with one of my friends who had access to emails of big brands in, um, in my home country because they were doing some um, Instagram advertisements. Uh, they were reaching out to these brands. So he was a sales manager um, in, the, in this like big agency. But because he had access to all of these emails and I had experience in TikTok, back then I had probably like 10,000 followers. I just started creating TikToks with my other friends for fun. So I had experience growing organically on TikTok and he had this database of emails. We decided to team up and uh, the split was 50-50. He was in charge of sales, I was in charge of service delivery. We started sending 50 cold emails a day, each of us, and offer TikTok services to all of these brands. Imagine uh, two 18-year-old kids um, sending emails all day long and finally landing clients. Uh, our first month we landed a, a, a 2K deal and we was happy because back then um, we were living together and our uh, we, we were pulling our incomes and our total um, spend, like just to cover our living expenses, it, it, it probably we probably needed like 1500 US or something like that. Um, so lending a 2K deal was a game changer for us and we did it only in like 23 days of the outreach. Um, so we were grinding 24 seven just to get a couple of replies from these big brands. Obviously nobody wanted to trust us. We had no case studies, no, um, no expertise, almost nothing. Still, we started lending one or two deals a month at two to three K and that was a game changer. This period of my life, this is when everything changed. Um, but I had a problem, right? Back then we were grinding. We had to ma um, like manually tailor each cold email for all of the brands that we were reaching out to. And uh, it took us like shit ton of hours, 12 to 14 hour days just to make two, three grand a month. Um, and as a solution for it, I decided to join our first ever coaching program. Uh, I, uh, as I remember now, we paid like 200 bucks a week for our first coach, just to tell, tell us exactly how to you know, manage this game of 
business because we were like complete newbies to this. Um, and as a solution on this stage, we went from 3K a month to 10K a month with the help of our first coach. Here's how it happened. I began working with this guy, um, a coach with a 1 million a year agency, and uh, we quickly shifted our focus from cold outreach that took us hours and, uh, and hours to just get a couple of replies to actually building a solid brand because the brand is what allows you to, to have trust that you need to close high ticket deals and that allows you to get uh, deals inbound, leads inbound. Um, so this is when I started doubling down on my um, TikTok personal brand and we also started building our agency brand. And what I mean by that is the moment we scaled to 10K a month, instead of buying ourselves better clothes or instead of changing our apartments, we kept grinding in the same exact um, <laughs> shit hole where we lived, but we invested 10 grand um, in building up our website, um, creating a logo and uh, different presentations. So we completely redesigned our agency just to not look like 18 year old scammers. Now we had a professional website, we had amazing presentation and presentations and we had beautiful logos. Here you can see the process. We were just choosing the best logo, a couple of presentations. I bought my first uh, MacBook Air. Uh, this was the final logo that we chose and uh, I even hosted one lecture back then. Um, so this allowed us to sell recurring packages. Instead of just selling one-time offers, we now started selling monthly recurring packages. We started managing accounts for brands and this meant that the uh, account uh, brands need to pay us every single month and this allowed us to stock MRR, which was incredible. And we hired our first team. So we were uh, like two partners and we already hired a VA, um, an account manager and a copywriter. So at the age of 18, I was able to manage a team of five and uh, like 10, 15K a month um, agency. And uh, this was probably one of the happiest uh, seasons of my life. But then the problem came up. I realized that I was the one doing 99% of the work and I was still splitting it up with my partner, 50-50. And I came to the coach um, like that uh, I told you I invested in uh, on the previous stage. And I told him all of the kind of like a breakdown of the tasks that we do together. And he basically said that, dude, you have to buy out your partner. Just take the money that you make from the agency and offer to buy him out. So we quickly calculated the capitalization of our agency back then and uh, I started buying him out, right? So I bought his 50% of share so I could become a sole owner of the agency and I could start making my own decisions and scale this agency. And this, is, this season of my life is called scaling season because once I bought my partner out, I was able to make my decisions and the speed of making decisions increased significantly. I was just making decision after decision and this allowed me to scale very, very quick. I quickly, like the first thing that I did and uh, you can see it as a bottom line of the, of the whole journey, I invested in, uh, in another coach. So I bought more one-on-one -on -one mentorship from the, co from the guy that I was working with and uh, it cost me 22 grand for a six month program. And because of this investment, I was able to scale my agency from 15K a month to 90 game months in just three months. In three months, I went from a, just a regular guy, as I said, a college dropout, um, 90 years old uh, back then, to making 90 grand a month, more than 1 million a year with my first ever agency. And uh, my personal TikTok brand went uh, through the roof. Uh, I had like 25, 30,000 followers, allowing us to sell content packages for 30 to 50 grand. Can you imagine signing a 50 grand contract when you're 20 years old? The Wolf of Wall Street said it better. It was like mainlining adrenaline straight to the heart. So this season of my life called scaling season for a reason um, because we were signing these contracts and I also hired a team of 13 people, 20 year old managing a team of 13 people and 1 million a year uh, business. This was probably the happiest I've ever, um, I ever was in my entire life just because I was young, I was rich, I was a young kid, right? I was a young king. Okay, but then I lost it all. 
and this is the experience that just a few people are blessed to actually live through because uh, all of the gurus that you see on the internet they succeeded once they built up their success on this um, kind of like on this quick wins that they achieved throughout their career I wasn't like that because uh, my home country was plugged into war and uh, I hope it never happens to you but uh, it, it's terrible when it happens and TikTok pulled out shutting down the app and I was building a, and I was managing a 1 million a year TikTok agency we couldn't pivot to Reels, we couldn't pivot to YouTube because our clients had different uh, contractors managing all of this social media we couldn't do anything nothing was possible for us we had refunds chargebacks and uh, in 30 days our agency went from 90 grand a month back to zero in just 30 short awful days that was terrible terrifying I had to let go 80% of the team and uh, in a couple of um, yeah in, in two months I completely shut down the thing and I was even forced to leave my home country in pursuit of happiness so I was back at zero I fired 80% of the team and the only thing that I owned back then was my mind and my knowledge so I decided to utilize the only thing that I was left with to build something in a more stable market and uh, again this is where my coach helped me and uh, actually helped me figure out the entire situation and uh, break through through this like mental trap because I assume you never lost a 90k a month business but uh, you, you can't even imagine like how I felt but anyways my coach helped me go through that tough times and he basically told me like the take a look at the US market and I was like man I have no idea how like I can't speak English I I don't know English what do you mean like take a look at the US market and he's like like you just do it you you are going to figure it out and without knowing English imagine that I decided that I'm gonna try myself in the US market I started my first Twitter account in English I had to translate my tweets <laughs> um, and I started tweeting I started tweeting about my TikTok experience and can you imagine that in two months I was at 2.5k followers 2.5 thousand followers on Twitter Google translating my tweets just because of the expertise that I had in my head that was incredible and uh, impossible um, so I went to zero and uh, decided to start my US agency as my mentor said so I established a LLC in Montenegro in Europe this time and uh, within two months I gained 2.5k followers on Twitter and started making 2k in US dollars I till this day I remember the first dollar that I make I am um, that I made I had to use gumroad because i had no bank account i had nothing no paypal nothing i had to use gumroad because it was the only platform that allowed uh that was uh the, where i was able to store my money i used gumroad as a as a bank that was freaking crazy um yeah a couple of my tweets that went viral and uh, a couple of calls that i took with um, like us speaking um like us speaking sales calls that was like that was terrible but anyways um six months later i had ten thousand followers on twitter and i was making 10 grand a month selling one to 1.5k ugc packages so basically i was doing the same tiktok agency but then uh, but um now in the us market and i was way more stable but i was still charging a pretty low ticket comparing to other um, other agencies in the market so I, I gained 10,000 followers I founded my US agency and then another shit happened because in life that's how it typically goes but Twitter was my sole um, like it was my main source of income like 100% of my income back then came from Twitter I just started it six months ago I had 10,000 followers and it shuts me down like that Twitter just bans my account no email nothing I was like Tate just banned like that and I was devastating again but uh, back then I understood the game of uh, starting everything from zero so 
Um, I was kind of, I wasn't ready for it, but I was okay with just starting from zero because I knew that the only thing that you truly own in life is your knowledge. And I knew how to go viral on Twitter. I knew how to build an audience on Twitter. So I decided that I'm just gonna start it again from scratch, from the ground zero again. And I knew that in six months, I'm gonna be exactly where I was once Twitter banned me. Um, but yeah, my agency was making like 10K a month and uh, that's when I lost my account again. And because I didn't want to go through the struggle of the first stage of building your personal brand, you know, when nobody knows you, you have no connections, nothing. Um, that's when I invested in a like 10 grand in a Twitter coach um, because he had an, an access to network of different accounts that uh, kind of like retweet each other and uh, and grow all together. Um, so I wanted access to this network. I, I also enjoyed working with, the, uh, with this coach back then. He taught me like high ticket sales and all of that. And I was able in just five months <laughs> from the ground zero again, I was able to grow my account to 12,000 followers this time. So around like um, probably like 30% faster, um, something like this. Um, and I was able at the same time grow my agency to 30K a month. So this isn't called happiness one more time because I took my family to Dubai. I, I skydived, I enjoyed my life. Uh, we started closing like 13, 15K uh, K deals in US and that was kind of incredible. I had like 12,000 followers. Um, we raised our prices to 4.5, 5K for our TikTok services. We charged high ticket for recurring deals, meaning uh, we just stuck our MRR and that was incredible. Um, and we quickly um, crossed $1 million in, um, in sales and I was still unsatisfied. I wasn't satisfied this time with the profit margins because out of like uh, 30K that I make um, as, as a revenue in my agency, I had to, play, uh, to pay employees, I had to pay you know, US based contractors, which was uh, pretty expensive. So I was left with a couple thousand dollars, maybe like five or six K. Um, so that's when I decided to pivot to being a coach. And that's why you know me for being a coach. So I built my uh, an agency in my home country to 90 grand a month. I pivoted to US market. I built my first Twitter account and the, the first try of an agency to 10 K a month. Then I built my second Twitter account and built my second agency to 30 and then to 60 K a month in the next three months. And then I pivoted to being a coach. Um, so I invested another 22 grand in a coach who, uh, who basically explained to me how the coaching world works and how you deliver the best results you can in a coaching sphere. Because I was only used to, I was only used to like done uh, for you aspects of the business, and I couldn't really figure out how to do done with you. But that that is what helped me a lot, um, and. Once I did that, basically the agency reached 60K a month. Our total sales went over uh, 1 million um, in high tech deals. I pivoted to being a coach. I started my US based Instagram account because by that time I kind of learned English and I could speak not very well, not like I, I'm, I'm speaking right now, but uh, I could at least come up with a couple of words and connect them all together. A uh, couple of sentences, I, I could um, just learn them very quickly and then uh, repeat them to the camera. So that's how I started on Instagram. And can you imagine that? I mean, numbers always sound so crazy to me, but in 101 day, 100 days, I went from zero followers on Instagram to 23,000 followers on Instagram in three months, still translating some part of the script. That's just insane. And I quickly scaled my coaching business to 20, uh, to almost like 30K a month in, uh, in profit this time because I had no expenses, like 90, 95% profit. I still paid for some ads, uh, but it was purely profit this time. So 30K a month profit. Um, we crossed 1 million a year. I bought the, the Mercedes and uh, maybe you know this guy, Grayson Lopez. I visited Bali to, to meet him and then Bolton and other guys. Um, my Instagram account got banned one more time. So I lost my agency, first loss. I lost my Twitter account, second loss. And now I lost my Instagram account and at 23,000 followers. 
no email, nothing again, for whatever reason. But I knew the game, right? So I had to start building it from scratch. And this time to be able to build it quicker, I used the profile visit ad strategy. This is when you don't need to go viral, you basically pay for ads and people follow you on Instagram um, and you can, first of all, coach them, work with them, but second of all, you're just building and stacking an audience. And on this second page, I quickly built a following of 10,000 followers in about like three months. And now we're cruising there because uh, for me now, the quality is uh, means way more than quantity than the amount of this audience. Um, so instead of making 30K months in revenue, after pivoting to a coach, I was making 30K months in profit. And here's what's going on now, right? I have 250, I gained 250,000 followers across multiple platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, um, email, YouTube, etc. I manage a 30K months profit freedom business. I don't have uh, a big team anymore. I don't have any um, like huge expenses anymore. I don't have to pay contractors. I just build a solo freedom business that allows me to live the life that I actually want to live. Um, I network, collaborate with seven figure entrepreneurs, um, my close friends, my products, my workshops, my, my coaching pro products are trusted by a bunch of uh, very, very high level entrepreneurs that you probably know, um, David Jato, MC Kobe and others. Um, and all of this while traveling the world, enjoying my life, driving a supercar, working seamlessly from just my iPad and basically living the life that I always dreamed of. But I was so far away when I was managing. Even my 90K months agency wasn't that enjoyable as my coaching business now. So this is a couple of people that I network with and work with um, all of the time. Some of them you know, some of them you don't, but uh, they are all six to seven figure entrepreneurs and I'm focusing a lot on building my network right now and connecting my clients to this network as well. Um, I became recently, you can uh, congrat me in a, in a comment because recently I became a strategic partner in the US department of Zephyr Lab Design Agency uh, that worked with uh, Darwin Apps, uh, Audi and, uh, and other cases. So I basically partnered a 5 million a year um, agency owner to build their US department. So this is um, a side project that I'm going to work on right now. I invested in an e-commerce business on Amazon. I, um, I gained the freedom to live whenever I want. I took my mom to four countries by now and uh, we'll keep traveling together. And I'm just fucking started. I'm just starting this journey. Even though I went through three major losses in my life, I'm still just at the beginning of this journey. And uh, yeah, what else do we have here? David Jado, you probably know this guy. He visited one of our work workshops, a very cool dude. MC Kobe, you probably know that guy too. He scaled from 5K months to 25K months uh, with his coaching business. That's what we do inside Social Snipers program. And that's what my one-on-one -on -one mentorship is all about helping you reach your highest potential. And I'm just sharing the knowledge and the expertise that I gained through throughout building three businesses in two different countries, three different accounts, and uh, like in three different ways. I'm just sharing this experience and passing it by to my coaching clients. Basically, what I'm trying to do, the big mission of this coaching program that I run is to help you avoid the mistakes that I made. There were a couple of mistakes that uh, um, that I assume made Instagram ban me back then, made Twitter ban me back then, and uh, I'll, I'm just trying to help you achieve your dreams and build your freedom business without making these mistakes. Like, for example, we helped Eric go from 4K months to 30K months, Marco go from 4K to 25K months, a reap from 15, double his business to go to 30K in monthly recurring revenue, and all other guys that we worked with that we scaled from five to 10K months to 30, 40, and 50K months consistently using the mechanisms and the tools that I developed throughout my own journey. I'm not one of the guys who is just coaching you on his success. I am the guy who is coaching you on my successes and on my failures, on my giant 
losses. So this was my journey, guys. This was my journey, a long journey.